Hello and welcome to this support cast. My name is Ed and today on this free cast I'd like to talk to you about Stacks. Stacks is a great plugin designed by Isaiah over at yourhead.com. It's really given us a lot of abilities within Rapid Weaver and a lot of folks are using it. There's been a great explosion of plugins available from the from the community in third-party development. Some are available for free and some are available for purchase. Today I want to talk to you about one such stack that I think everybody needs to have in their toolbox or in their library. As you can see here I've thrown together a quick page. I've got a, a two column stack with text and, and image, a three column stack with just some text and then of course this is Gary Bird's really nice awesome button uh, stack right here that I wanted to use to represent the site that we're going to be visiting. But if we preview this page real quick, as you can see, we've got a nice color, we've got some padding set so that our text all lines up and looks good. But notice how close everything is together. Notice how everything seems to be right on top of each other. So let's take a look at something really quick. Let's add some color to the background here on the three column so we can really get a, a feel for this. Notice how the the two uh, different stacks but right up against one another no matter how much padding or spacing we put between them they're always going to do that. Well that's where this nice stack that I'm going to talk to you about comes in. Everybody needs to have the spacer stack from Will Woodgate over at Theme Flood. Now this is a really simple idea not sure why any of us didn't come up with it before he did but he's the one that came up with it. So you can see when we throw this stack in here just gives us a big empty space. The heads up display where all the information is contained. You still have the ability to add borders to it and do all that stuff. If you really want to set your stack off I don't really need all that but it has a predefined height in it and it defaults to 100 pixels. So let's take a really quick look at this and see what it does. Now notice that right there. Notice how we've got some spacing between this now. Our, our page layout is starting to take on some some form and some fashion because we can actually go in here we can actually drop this down to say 20 pixels let's get this out of the way let's look see if that looks good oh yeah we got a little nice space there but see we don't have no space here down between our button and our three column so let's go ahead and grab that stack and let's throw it in here what do you think how big do you think we should go here let's uh let's go ahead and just shoot this at about 40 pixels so we get a little bit more spacing there between things. Now let's jump over here and take a look at this. Now look at that. We've got some nice clean spacing. We can have the colors if we want. And everything looks really nice. It's got a, got a nice flow to it. Everything's not jammed together. So let's drop the colors out of the backgrounds here. Just so we can see how that's going to look. Even just on a plain white background. gives our our page layout some some air some breathing room everything's not rammed right up against each other this is a really nice stack this is a really easy stack to use and it's a really functional stack and if you jump over and visit Will's site over at themeflood.com and you jump over to his add-ons page you're gonna see that Will has quite a few items that are available for download for free there's quite a few stacks that he has available uh, for us to use in our layouts and this is just one of the many functional stacks that he's created and provided for us so what I wanted what I want you to do is I want you to jump over add the stacks the spacer stack to your toolbox don't forget to go by the forums check out the snowstorm stack that I've put up there for free thanks to Phil Warrender for his help with the customization of that and get that on your sites for this holiday season I want to wish everybody a happy holiday and thank you for joining me today on this cast